y'all. This weekend, I'm going on my first multi-night bikepacking trip that I have been on since 2020, and I am so excited. I haven't been able to do more than an overnighter in a really long time because of injuries that I sustained last year, but I have been working on it and it is, it's time, it's time. And I am so pumped. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my pack list, how I packed everything and organized it and how it goes. The setup and gear that I'm using for this trip is significantly different than some of the other pack list videos that I've done. So I hope you guys find this super useful. So let's dive right in. The bike that I am using for this trip is my Crest Bambora Old Faithful, my favorite bike, my gravel bike. For bags, I am running my trusty Bags by Bird Goldback. It is custom made for this bike. I use it on almost all of my trips. I really love it. It is, it's great. It's a great bag. I'm also using a Rock Guys frame bag that I am borrowing from the gear library. And on the rear, I am running some mini panniers, which I have never used before. And I am super stoked to try them out this weekend. A company called Old Man Mountain sent me this rack and a couple of mini panniers to try out with it. They also sent me a luggage bag to put on top, but I don't need it for this trip. So I'll save that for another video. The mini panniers are a collaboration between Old Man Mountain and North Street bags. And I am just like throwing them on the rack. They fit perfectly. For my sleep system, I am using my Big Agnes Fly Creek 2 for bike packing. I'm bringing a Nemo Tensor size regular wide for my sleeping pad. And I'm also bringing a Rock Geist Animalist foam pad to put the sleeping pad on top of so it the sleeping pad doesn't move around. I'm bringing an Enlightened Equipment Enigma quilt and two pillows. I have decided that I am a two pillow guy so that I can kind of prop my head up when I'm reading in the tent. So I am bringing a Sea to Summit ultralight pillow as well as a Nemo Philo, Philo, Fio pillow. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. For food, I'm going to be bringing two dehydrated breakfasts and two dehydrated dinners, a whole bunch of snacks. I often like to make my own breakfasts and dinners and lunches. This week has been really hectic for me and dehydrated meals are super convenient. So that's what I went with this time. For a camp stove, I am bringing a Tokes 750 milliliter titanium pot. Inside of it, I'm just putting a little can of fuel, a little camp cup and a titanium spork. I'm also bringing a flask of whiskey because I have no shame. It's a Nalgene flask from REI and it holds enough whiskey for a couple of days. I'm also bringing a 12 ounce coffee mug from Muir and a Sea to Summit collapsible bowl. For hydration, I am bringing a Nalgene bottle, a Bevo water bottle and carrying a Camelback on my back. For clothes, just bringing some jerseys, chamois, sports bra, underwear, probably a lightweight jacket and maybe my Patagonia micro puff. I'm not sure. I, I need to check the weather before I go as well as hat, some sleek clothes and my trusty Crocs. <laughs> Cannot go wrong. I like I am a Crocs evangelist on this channel. I, I really love them. Just strapping them on the back of the bike. Some other things that I'm going to bring, just your toiletries, chamois butter, soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, ibuprofen, sunscreen, stuff like that. Some other stuff that I'm bringing, I'm bringing my GoPro, bring an extra tube, headlamp, toolkit, pump, a water filter, a Wahoo, a Kindle, and my helmet and some sunglasses. So that's my pack list. I am leaving in a couple of hours. When I get back, I will film how everything went, how I packed it. I think I think I'm into this uh, mini pannier life. It's been really nice to be able to have some extra room. So we shall see. All right, y'all. So it's been a couple of weeks since I filmed that last video. And in that time, I also got a new camera. So if you notice significant difference in video quality, that's why. Thank you for your patience as I figure out how to do this. So the trip went really, really well. I went with a few friends to the mountains of North Georgia, and we spent two nights at two very different campsites, saw a lot of really beautiful scenery. It was grand. It was absolutely grand. The gear that I brought overall worked out really nicely. I didn't find myself wanting or lacking anything. I will say, however, 
that the whiskey did not last all weekend. It last, lasted approximately, um, I don't know, a few hours after getting to the first campsite. So that eight ounces was, it was gone really fast. <laughs> so uh, next time, next time, maybe someone else brings a flask. For the most part, I really enjoyed the mini panniers. One of the biggest issues I found in bike packing is that I have trouble figuring out where to put everything on my bike. Even though I have large bags and I have a large bike, therefore quite a bit more room than someone who's riding, say, a smaller bike, it's still a struggle. So the North Street mini panniers on the Old Man Mountain Divide rack worked really, really well. It was, they were really stable and really roomy. I could throw whatever I needed to into the panniers. Also last week I posted a review of the panniers and the rack. So if you want to check that out, I'll put it up here and in the description below. The biggest issue I encountered on this trip was the weight and distributing the weight evenly across the bike. I put the heaviest stuff in the front. So I put my tent and my cookware and my electronics into my Bags by Bird gold back. And that basically remained the same throughout the entire trip. The rest of the bags, however, I was constantly kind of moving things around to figure out what was the best dis distribution of the weight. And I never really found a good solution. Overall, my bike was just really heavy throughout the entire ride, which was fine until about a thousand feet of climbing into day number two. We were in North Georgia, which is famously very hilly. It's very climby. And after about 10 miles and a thousand feet of climbing, I was just like, it was, it was a struggle. It, <laughs> I started feeling every single ounce of that weight on the back of the bike. I think some of that weight was coming from the rack and panniers itself, but I think part of it is the gear and my fitness. Fitness wise, I probably could have prepared a little bit better. I was really feeling it in my knees afterwards. So next time I go on a bikepacking trip, I'm gonna train a little bit more. I just like haven't had the time to do that. But it also got me thinking about maybe figuring out ways to lighten up my load and making investments in lighter gear sometime this year. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to do that on maybe a budget friendly way, or if you wanna see a particular piece of gear tried out on this channel, let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you next week.